Tell us your version of the story of how you and Mark met. Of how we met? Yeah. I was his waitress when we were in college. He need more. <laughs> <laughs> I was a waitress at Chatters in Pittsburgh, and Mark and a couple of, actually his groomsmen, Zach Dickey and a couple other guys, um, all came in after they got their butts handed to them in a football game that day. And so they came in with the intent of having a few drinks. So that was the first night that I, that I met Mark Chestnut, was with his buddies drinking bourbon. So you can only imagine. There's always just something really kind of special about her. I, I wondered if I could, you know, kind of see myself, and that sounds really weird, but I wondered if I could see myself kind of dating her at some point in my life, but boy, she gave it back to all of us really quick and was really quick with her jokes, and I didn't know if sometimes I could keep up, but I didn't let her know that. The first words that I said to Kenna Thompson, you know, Rico Suave over here was, Kenna, may I have some more ranch dressing? So, uh, I guess everything gets filtered through there. We knew each other for a while. It took us both a few months before we kind of got the nerves to talk to each other, but um, we had mutual friends. I always, we always kind of stood out to each other, I guess you could say. That's a bad one to start off on. That makes me nervous. And I'll always remember this, and uh, I, I knew that she was Definitely, definitely girlfriend potential on the first nights so we hung out because we, uh, we sat around and watched Cops the whole night. And uh, from the first time that I knew that she liked watching Cops and I, I thought that was absolutely ridiculous and absolutely hilarious, I, I thought, man, this is, this is a really cool girl. We started dating and probably had been, you know, hanging out and dating for about a month to a month and a half before I left to Kazakhstan. Whenever Mark left, he was going to be gone for two months, and so I, I mean, at that point, we were boyfriend and girlfriend, but we were going to just kind of take it day by day and see how it went, and um, we both really looked forward to the time we got spent together in Europe, but um, him being gone, I mean, that just made me realize how much I had to have him in my life, so that was the point when I fell in love with Mark Chestnut, was actually when he was not there. Um, and I can honestly say that when I knew that I loved her was... There was one day when I was just having a really, really terrible day, and uh, we kissed, and, and it, it sounds so corny, and I'm gonna get such crap from all my friends saying it, but all, I mean, all my worries just kind of lifted away, and I thought, yeah, this is, she definitely, this is the one. This is it. So, the plan was that we almost just completely recreate our first date. He ended up, we went out with the intention of going to Hackett's Hot Wings, first place we went on our first date. Didn't even think anything of it because that's one of our favorite places to go. Um, but in true Mark style, he was late, so we weren't able to go to Hackett. So we went to a place in Pittsburgh instead and then went out to um, his old farmhouse in north of town where we used to go and watch the stars. Um, and that's where I was going to pop the question. We walk over to a, a spot in the field, um, lay out the sleeping bag and everything, get her nice and bundled up and warm, and we sit there and we talk for a couple minutes. He gave me a piece of paper that said Kenna Thompson Chestnut on it, and then had written a really sweet note on there and got down on one knee. He said what I had to say, and she of course started crying and then told me to put the ring on her finger. <laughs> She had to remind me a little bit to put the ring on her finger. I was like, yeah, I was going to do that, yeah. Um, 
I started bawling, he gave me the ring, and then he actually had some of his buddies from Miami drive up and hide out in the field next to us and shot off fireworks afterwards. So, <laughs> huge fireworks. And then um, my parents and his parents were both at the house waiting on us when we got home to drink champagne and celebrate, so. Quite an ordeal. Mark cannot be on time to anything. It is chestnut time, Mark chestnut time. I've gotten to the point where, you know, it just that's just who he is and I just have to love him for it. So, God bless him. Um, is he around? His love for that chocolate lab. <laughs> because it, he, he has three or four hours in the evening once he gets home from work and two or three of those hours are spent with that dog. God bless him, and, and, and I love that dog too, but his love is real. <laughs> I was gonna say absolutely nothing at all because I'm completely perfect in her eyes, but I know that's not right, so sometimes she gets really angry at me because I, I spend a lot of time training my dog, and I should be paying attention to her. I'm gonna say it because she's gonna, she, she'll laugh when she uh, hears it. She's a natural born talker. She's really, really good at talking and conversing. And uh, sometimes I'm not, but she, she enjoys it. So I, I don't say that I humor her at all, but she's, uh, she's definitely a talker. I think she would say that it'd be Casey Musgraves. Yeah, Casey Musgraves. I just don't like her. I don't know if I have one. Ooh, Gerard Butler. I guarantee you he would not guess that either. She must be really good at keeping it from me because I can't think of anything. <laughs> Seriously? Gerard Butler? That's ridiculous, no! Close. Ridiculous. Food. <laughs> um, that's Mark, as long as, that's why I think he fell in love with me, is because I fed him food all the time at Chatters. He's a really good dancer. Oh, he can shake his booty. Ask him to, ask him to. Oh, he can. Which of the following hands Best describes your first kiss. Starburst. <laughs> Starburst, good and plenty, hot tamales, goobers, milk duds, or zeros? Hot tamales. Ooh. Why is that? Can you explain your is answer? That a Edward Sharp, Magnavi Zero's home. Home. Is that what you said too? Yeah. Can you guys sing a little bit of it together? <clears throat> Chorus <maybe? laughs> I know the words, but I don't know if My I want to sing it. voice just is just so hoarse. I've had a cold for a month and a half, <laughs> and this is not the right acoustic environment. Okay. Thank you for putting up with all of little Kenna's bridezilla moments. There's but... no... <laughs> <laughs> Kidding, of course. Um, but thank you so much. Um, to my parents, thank you guys for always being there. Couldn't do it without you guys. You guys are amazing and awesome, and we both just love both of you so much. You're so good at speaking for both of us. Which is a first. It's the first time it's happened. Um, Kent and Susan Thompson, my parents, thank you so much. This is all, I mean, could not have been possible. Susan put in the hours. Um, I was the boss and she she did all the dirty work. So she, she deserves a definite pat on the back and Chuck and Shirley. I'm so happy to become a part of your family and become a chestnut. And thank you for giving us everything that we asked for you guys are amazing and we love you both so much. We're both very, very lucky with, with who we have for parents. Amen to that. Amen to that. 
Thank you to everybody that came today. We really appreciate you guys taking your you know, time and to come out here and celebrate with us. We're really blessed to have you. Um, please, at some point during the night, come and say hi to us. Um, tell Kenna how beautiful she looks because she's going to look gorgeous. Um, so thank you so much for coming. We really appreciate it. Appreciate all the groomsmen being there. We appreciate our family so much for helping us do all this. Um, it wouldn't be possible without you all. Um, thank you everybody so much for all that you're doing. And we love you guys and we're so blessed to have you guys be a part of this with us. I mean, how can you say it any better than that? That was pretty good. Hope the party's good. It will be good. <laughs> <laughs>